Outlander season six, episode two. I ain't gonna give a lot away because I understand a lot of y'all may not have seen the episode yet, but I want to put this out there to the writer and the creator of Outlander. As a man, I want to tell you something. And there was a lot of things I did not know that a man could do and assist in to make things easier, to make things lighter, to make things better for a woman. And because of your intelligence and your research and your consistent writing, you've helped me become a better lover in my life. If I never got anything from Outlander, guaranteed I've become a better lover for any woman that I dealt with in my life. Physically, I am the epitome of man. I am over Jamie. I am king of man because of the way you've written those books and helped this TV show bring that to reality. The point I'm trying to make is there is a love scene in episode two of season six that's not involving Claire and Jamie that's going to make y'all cover y'all mouth, tell y'all children to leave the room, you might leave the room, come back in and see what's going on then you might sit down and you might be like oh my lord, I gotta have this happen to me to see if that's really true and let's be clear, let's be clear I really like Fergus, like I really 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 like Fergus but Fergus he's coming off as a as a little um, I ain't gonna say a little, as a well endowed curved penis for some reasons, and y'all gonna understand why I'm saying this. Episode two was the most magical, and and um and what the hell is going on right now? Episode I've watched all five seasons. Episode two had some Lazarus in it. It had some love being made as a family in it. Um. Claire, somebody need to check on Claire. Like, I know it ain't no phones back then. Can y'all please go send a pigeon to check on Claire? Because cause mentally, Claire is fighting and battling some demons. And if that ether is the thing that take her out, I'm going to have a problem. I'm telling you now. Jamie is way too damn kind and nice. I wish Jamie was my stepdaddy. And I just want to put this out. All of us can't be as faithful and as good and as strong as Jamie. Because when Jamie was presented with an opportunity that I've never had an opportunity like that presented in my life, that man passed with flying colors with his eyes closed and behind his back. He ain't even flinch. Me? Out of it. Claire, we got to sit down. We got to have a talk. All right? These are my confessions. Usher voice. Serious. Like... They tell Jamie to go do one thing and you're going to work for us and you're going to help us do this thing. And then he goes and meet people because I don't want to give spoilers away. He goes and meet a group and he like, you know what? Maybe we should help them. But on the other side, Jamie is loyal to the cause and Jamie is a rebel and he's a rider. If Tupac ever wanted a white man with a ponytail with an accent to ride for him, it would be Jamie thug life across his stomach. So I'm trying to see where that's going to go. After y'all see episode two of Outlander, I want y'all to come back to this video, get in these comments, and tell me the way I'm coming off right now while trying to hold it together, not give everything away. Tell me I'm not right on point, okay? I'm going to say this one thing, though. I'm going to say this one thing. When, when, when them Native Americans get right, it's going to be an issue. I don't know if history's being rewritten, but when those Native Americans get right, because of Jamie... It's going to be an issue. I don't know where the hell this season is going. Again, I've never read the books. But I don't think Claire going to make it. I don't think somebody important is about to die. And I don't know if my esophagus can take it. <sighs> season two was better than uh, season six. Episode two was way better than episode one.